Hello and welcome. Today we are going to talk about match reports in United Legends. How to find match reports, how to read the statistics and all the things that are visualized in each match report. First of all, let's look on how to find match reports. There are multiple ways to find a report for a specific match. For example, in this screen you can see on top right area button for each of the played last five played matches. You can look up match reports by going to main menu matches and then all fixtures and look up any of the reports of your already played matches. You can find match report buttons in official competitions such as National Cup, Masters, League and basically you can look up a report for any of the played matches. Now let's look at one match report and try to understand what it is showing to us. I will pick a match that was recently played in Masters. That's this one. So basically click on this button leads to the report where we then can see a plain information on the left indicating stadium name, stadium capacity that was during that match, scored goals and such simple information. On the right we can also see scored goals, yellow cards, if there were any injuries they will be shown here and such information. We can also see if the card was played, if the action card by any of the two managers was played and we can also visit the specific, specific match that we are looking at. To visit a match you need to click on this little button here. On the second page we can see other statistics such as distance, covered, fouls, passes, shots on goals and usual statistic you would see in match. On the third page we can see tactic that was used by each team, effort and other information such as team spirit, team experience or maybe bonuses that are that were effective in the match. On the left side we can select each of teams and see the best 11 performance on the field. With strength ratio we can compare our own team to the opponent team and see how our team performed in all of the nine sectors. As you may know, the field in Goal United is divided into nine sectors, where then your nine sectors simply said play against nine sectors of the opponent team. But it is not such a simple thing. In fact, behind everything there is a really complex calculation taking in account tactics, formations and coach, and personalities, positioning of the players and so on and on. Positioning of the players is really important and the little numbers you can see in the yellow circles for each of the players actually indicate the rating that player received based on his performance. It is often misunderstood what the ratios mean. The ratios shown should help you understand how good was the performance of your team. It doesn't need to mean that your team was guaranteed to have successful events and goals and what not in the match. It is just showing you the performance of the quadrant that was produced by your lineup. When it comes to quadrants, I like to call them sectors as well, there is something called quadrant strength. Quadrant strength can be calculated uh, based on the player that was there and also it can be influenced by the neighboring sectors. Neighboring sector for example this here sector where it says 69 is neighboring sector for that is this one here and this one here. So sector on bottom and on the right could have influence on that sector where it says 69. How it can happen is that there is a player like this one 
and this one here and then them two combine generate the strength uh, of this here quadrant while it shows 69% it still can happen that there are failures in the match that the opposing team is managing to battle this uh, high advantage for you let's see if we look at the defensive sector of the opponent we can see 31% versus 69 this means that performance of this opponent team even though it appears lower compared to you it still means that they were managing to uh, confront your players in the team, in the match that would be simply explained but there is a lot more going on now let's look at one example and compare it to the events of the live ticker if you look at this sector here where player number 8 is and try to find it in relation to the opponent we obviously cannot find every single event that was happening during the match that is because live ticker will not show every event that is calculated so if we try to find for example in this here 75th minute we see player Sedlacek which is number 8 here uh, going against Ionov who is on the left side of the opponent team yes in this view you, you can see that it's on the right but when you compare two lineups this player and this quadrant sector actually comes in battle with this sector here you can see it right in this example so this player was against that player basically my player committed a foul and then there was a free kick for the opponent which was basically a chance created for the opponent team speaking of these opportunities from free kick and talents these also are often um, let's say disregarded and not taken in account when looking at the match reports when looking at the statistics in this example here my team won 1-0 but there were quite some free kicks there were corners and talent events happening which maybe saved my team or maybe they saved the opponent for from a bigger loss if we go back to the match report we can see obvious um, advantage and better performance of my team but the result was just 1-0 even in statistics we can see a lot of shots on goal passes and so on and on but still only one goal score if we compare the strength the overall average rating of the two teams which by the way is calculated uh, taking in account all the ratings and then dividing them by 11 so 11 players in the field so average rating of performance of my team here was 92 compared to 73 even though this difference might appear to be large or so it actually isn't because there are multiple things and factors going on in the background in the lineup for the players and so on and on plus there are bonuses coming from upgrades and decorations and so on it is often disregarded that there can be a failure because even though the ratings are great and everything is green and nice you must understand that players still can fail in battles between sectors this will be just uh, a brief explanation I hope it will help some of you who might have hard time understanding why after everything was green your team still didn't uh, perform very well that's it for today thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye